dominant as well. Again, time check it is 9.50 in the evening, Philippine time. We've been live for an hour and 18 minutes and 16 seconds. Both players got their customs on deck and M just bringing in the offense non-stop. But GG1 says no. And repeat, retreats back into neutral. Updating the pin comment. That's set number three for the 19th edition of Dojang Exhibition. So that means standby Duckbird and Raiden. So of course, it's gonna take some time, but I'll call for you again once the score is four in either player's favor. And then, and then what do you call that? A big comeback happens. So it's just like, oh, you have to wait even longer. <laughs> Fantastic punish. Coming off hot from the team battle win is M. Again, they had a team battle, Team VB versus Team TNS. Seven players each, but they only played one set. Because I typically isn't a team battle, typically like two sets or something like that. They only had one set. Which you can do as well, right? Yes, it is a kung fu battle indeed. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> oh, you're right. Perfect. And GG Mon will take the seven slices of cheese there. Fight. Round start down back three. Offense is always on the menu for both M and GG Mon. DCF1 looking for a sidestep four, but denied from the strings of GG Mon. Ooh, 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 laying down the pressure. There you go, the punch parry, the classic sauce for Feng Wei. The shoulder, 20 seconds have passed. And M showing him how it's done. Sometimes they hit the wall here. Should both players want to stay in neutral and like remain in the middle of the stage, like they don't want to take damage. But as we know from the first game and previous games both players have played in the Dojang exhibitions, they're gonna wanna get that damage and there you go, M starting it off. Gets the wall, will not go for a tech catch in back 1 plus 2, the iron shoulder. FS3, alright. Not going for this, no, no OS there for a down jab on the lay FS3-4, but you don't necessarily need to go for it. Ooh, was that the right call? It was not! GG1 did not press a button there, baiting the cheese from M. M part of the 1k club, while GG1's only part of the 2k club. I believe this is one rank away from each other, right? Emperor and Tekken King, so it could be a death match. Yes, it could be. But if I were playing in these higher ranks, I would want the same rank. Most especially for the god matches. And the dream denied. GG1 waking him up. You made it, beautiful. Now it's time to jeebs. <laughs> it's time to sit, you know, think, have the deep thoughts on the toilet. Ah, oh, yeah, it's, it's for what Feng did to his master, yes, indeed. And Lei's letting him know, if you don't win this first to five, you're coming with me. <laughs> look, look, I wanted to play Tekken, right, but the bus... The bus had a mix. The, the, the bus was plus on block. There's nothing you can do if the bus is plus on block, man. And they're swapping outfits yet again. Just showing off the their wardrobe from the their walk-in closet. Uh, for your gameplay in particular, Ryan? Mm, what I like is that you have a unique way, a unique pace, right? I said that in our set, so if you review the last set we played together, it's there. But mainly it's a lot of the stuff you need to work on and a lot of the basic fundamentals. So stuff like learning frames, learning, you know, better punishment, You're like even, if not better punishment, consistent punishment. So like if you block below, you do while standing four, you block a launch punishable low that staggers, like the animation's clear, you do while standing one or orbital or up forward three. Same thing with, you know, moves that are standing. If you don't know it's unsafe, you can easily check with a Lars 2-1 or a Lars 1-2. And then once you know, you can do your Lars F-2-4. And then if you're on point, you do your blue bolt with punish, right? Stuff like that. It's mainly a lot of the basics and a lot of the fundamentals that you need to work on mainly. 
because your tempo slash pace is very unique. And that's like a strength you shouldn't let go. But you add that beside with, you know, learning the game and like the fundamentals and stuff and stuff, it's gonna become good. Round four. Or at least that's what I think. Of course that's off the top of my head as well, right? <laughs> You need to work on the basics too. The basics are important. They are. And you can advance in green ranks to yellow. I'm pretty sure you could advance to yellow no problem. Uh, L, even orange, I think. Orange or red, it should be no problem for you, Jared. I'm not there, so I don't really mind it as much. <laughs> That's my opinion on it, Art. <laughs> Shouldn't you be playing the game more than just talking about it? You wanna prove something? Do it in game, just like what GG One's doing right here. Looking to take the final, final round away from M. Okay, that could have been a counter hit. If that was a counter hit, that would have been big for M. Is this it? Oh, the miss input! Was that on purpose, perhaps? Back four. The dream's still alive for M. Oh! <laughs> Ending it in definitely, style. Just still like definitely three. a learning experience. Round one. Again, repeat sessions make the player. Fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was definitely a thing. Down back three again. The lows galore. M is like, I'm ready to come back to this set. I waited 40 plus minutes for this. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I get the W. I'm the one coming home with the cheese. The buffets don't typically do takeout, right? Yeah, they don't. But you know who does? The cheese buffet. Ooh! Catches him! Crazy! The Rage Drive, the Iron Mountain, blue version. Blessed by cheese there. Trying to create some pizza, but GG Mon says no, I will not be the batter. Find some different... Oh, find something different. Maybe yourself as we go up into the air. FF3. No wall combo there. There you go, the Iron Mountain yet again. Almost got the side wall splat. But not gonna need it. It's just additional. It's just add-on. I don't need this DLC. I can get the damage on my own. 1185 for M in terms of win count. That's a lot of wins if you think about it. I used to be part of that club. But alas, my data was not backed up. I did not back it up. <laughs> so I had to do it from scratch to make that 1k again. How many games again do you need to make 1k? I don't know, how many games do you need to play? A lot, right? Like how many games a week? Or like a day? 10 games a day? So if you 10 games a day, that's 10 times 7. That's like 70 per week. <laughs> yeah. I can probably do 23 to 24. Wait, are you guys talking about? Oh, you guys are talking. Okay, okay. You guys are having a whole different conversation. Oh, you're right. It's Squid Games versus the Police. Brian understood the reference there as M ties it all at two all apiece. Claudio. I'm gonna get Claudio to Yaksa now by pressing button. Round one. Fight. And Raiden's like, okay, now you gotta teach me the buttons you pressed. Because it was successful. As M has successfully brought down Gigi Mon's life without launching him at all. Only it takes one more, two more hits for Gigi Mon to enter Rage. That's the poke galore here from M. And there, beautiful sidestep on the Feng back one. Matching the life leads right now. M, first player to get Rage. Ooh, on point! Oh, the cameraman! Wow, that was crazy. Fight. Oh, that's right, I forgot to close the poll. The wrong player. Close, close results. Let's bring back the GG Mon one. The GG Mon and M. Show results. There you go. <laughs> you brought the whole stick? Yeah, exactly. You used the whole stick. I paid for these buttons, I'm gonna use these buttons. As GG Mon. Gets denied with the hop kick there. M learning from what uh, Juker did. 
denying whatever his opponent has in store with hop kick. They go back for trade for five slices of great cheese. 7-2 for Gigimon in terms of win town, part of the team digit club. That was definitely crazy. Quite some magic indeed. Some Tekken magic. Some cheese magic, right? F3 does not confirm the whole thing. You have to really commit to that. If it was hit confirmable, that'd be cheap. 100% would be cheap if you could hit confirm Feng F3-4. 1, 2, 3. Alright, the whole string connects there. And Gigimon wants to pick, go ahead with a one game lead of 3-2. to two. As he was in the lead currently, you know, before the internet dropped and we had to recontinue the set, you know, after another first to five set, which was Raiden's and Duckbird. Hop kick again. That's two times in a row right now for M. Again, Juker's record is five hop kicks. Interrupting offenses with a hop kick. So let's see if M can match that record. Currently at two, just needs three more hop kicks to match it. As GG Mon has more cheese in the bag. Like, have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? How about this one? Another low. Again, the rage and the dream for M. Ooh, if it don't work the first time, it's gonna work the second time. Flip over. You gotta catch these techs. Because again, Lei can play dead. The dream was denied there. You gotta wake up. Wake up. No more rage driver, rage art. Round one. Fight. Then this one, GG. Fantastic. I made it. I made it in time as the back swing blow is there. To give GG on this big life lead. It's like, okay, you, you, you can get the life lead through pokes, but I can get the life lead through damage. And M's like, say no more. If it's gonna be about damage, I got that. But both players competing Round to see who two. has more damage. Fight. Whether that be through launches or through pokes. Evading the back four, there you go. The Kenpo step doing work. Can he keep GG Mon at the corner? Oh no, they've swapped roles right now. M now on the, on the defensive. Making use of that punishment to create some space. The wall is no longer at his back. Earning the position is M. But the Rage Drive. Gotta watch out for the ultimate tackle. <gasps> KO. Yeah. That definitely took my breath away. Fight. Ibayan, bro. <laughs> Truly it is. Here, 4 3. He's gonna set it up for the punch parry. No, sets it up for shifting clouds. It was spaced out, but it wasn't enough. As Gigimon's get up attack connected there. The play dead. Play dead option. Razor rush. Here you go. Ooh, FF3. That caught the tech, didn't it? Or was he ducking when he woke up? When he got up. Well, not to be concerned with that. Looking for a key charge setup. Yes, that's one of the strings that would become natural on counter hit. Down 4, 1 plus 2. And that's going to give a re uh, wall splat for M. And then he's going to re-splat it to, let's say, DF3. Sidestep DF3 for bigger, bigger damage. Bigger, bigger damage. No, extra large damage, right? Upsize. Upsize the damage. The extra large. All right. Oh, they swap sides. It's something like that. So that's usually for improving your reactions. And then if there's stuff that are unsafe that are similar frames, you add that there. But for moves that are typically unsafe, you just have to react to those in-game. So when you see it in match, that's when you punish it. Like you keep telling yourself, okay, this is my punish for this move, this particular move. This is how I punish it. That's why you start off basic. You do, like, every time you block a low, you do while standing 4. And then if it staggers, that's when you do maybe while standing 1-4 or while standing 3 for Asuka. And then when it's unsafe on standing, like when both of you are standing, you just do your jab. You can just keep doing 1-1 one, one, typically all the time. And then once you know it's unsafe, you could do something like 2-1 or 2-3. Then for 13 frames, it's DF1, right? 
then 14 is a 4-2. You have all that in the toilet right now? Why? <laughs> it truly is a special occasion there. I like how these two characters win. Yeah, they no, they don't. Because they can avoid a lot of situations on negative. The tempo step, shifting clouds, play dead, back swing blows, etc. Yeah, no problem, man. That's what the tease is for. Oh, big drive! But alas, no reach splat, but not gonna need it. M's like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I can always get the damage, no problem. Now I'm back three, but avoided by the spinning wheel kick. Digimon's like, no, I shall go up four first. It is truly a battle of tug of war between these two players, M and GG1. Mm -hmm, it's like who can increase their stock here in the cheese. Perfect. Looks like GG1 is at a perfect position to do so. You win. Currently now at 4 to 3. And then BB. Oh, big, big, big back one there for Feng Wei. With the follow up of the Iron Mountain. We'll return next week. Third or fourth match. Which one next week? Friday or Sunday? <laughs> Is it gonna be? Oh, he's like for both. He's like for both. Yes, it is 4 3. 4 3 in favor of GG Mon. I just have to swap the names around. Yeah, yeah. As Jif said, PM is the key to get the secret sauce. Or you can just use the cheese HQ, just use the lobby channel to get games. I'm pretty sure I, someone just has to start it up and then people start using that channel to get it in. Or I can create a channel for looking for games. One of the two. Basically, someone still has to start using it. Razor Rush Galore. The sidewall. Is it an enemy or a foe? Enemy or a foe. Those are both the same thing. Ally or a foe. Uh, at that point, it was neither, because it didn't really affect the game at all. M currently down two rounds, needs to stay alive to make it for all a piece. And battle for the final, final cheese. Digimon really wants it. There you go, interesting wall carry. One, two. Mm -hmm. There you go, denying all the slow options that M wants to press. Ooh, is this it? Could this be the start of something new? Uh-huh. Rage Art? No! And there you go. GG1 takes it. 5 to 3 over M. Again, good games to both players. Good games. So maybe changing the stage wasn't. I didn't need to. Ay, ay, ay. Guaranteed. Thief 2. Yeah! <laughs> Alright! That's the RFS F4 mix-up. Two slices of red cheese.